and we're going to continue to talk about it and probably beat a dead horse, but there's so many unknowns just with guys not having played with each other. Practice rhythm has been messed up. Is a good finish inside there by J.J. Trainer, but you got it out of the way. You normally play two exhibition games, so by the time that first game rolled around, everybody kind of knew what to expect and could calm down. And great move there by Carly Jones. Great finish, chance for the three-point play. Great to have college basketball back. We certainly missed it. Louisville has now hit on its last five buckets. Can't get a better look than that for Evansville before the half. This is Levich stepping into a three, and he hits it. They finish the half 2 of 15 from beyond the arc and find themselves staring at a 20-point gap between them and Louisville. Really, really excited. A lot of us former players and coaches who had a chance to work for him and play for him. Really excited to see him get back in the game where he belongs. And, you know, that's what Louisville's probably going to have to look to do a little bit more this year is score out on the break simply because they don't have quite the same weapons in the, on the offense in the half court. Always going to be one team I know you're going to see zone against for sure every year in the ACC, and that's the uh, Syracuse Orange, obviously. But, uh, you know, teams this, this day and age are, are mixing it up a lot more. And, uh, I'm telling you, we gave it the kiss of death in the second half of the transition. And out of Bardstown, Kentucky, whose dad played here in the mid-90s, J.J. Trainer throws it down. Louisville feeling good.